Good morning, interwebs. Happy first day of school. It is about 10 o'clock, and I've been up since about 7. I slept in this morning. Um, I slept in because I stayed up too late last night. I stayed up because I was, um, got some books at the library yesterday, and I needed to pick a book for my daughter's book report, and I decided that I should actually read the book first, not for content or anything, but because it really annoyed me in school when I would do reports on books and clearly the teacher had not read the book not like when everyone would do the same book but when you get to pick your own book the teacher hadn't read the book and I always thought how can they give me a grade on something they have never read yeah. how it didn't seem right to me so I decided that I needed to read the book while I was trying to decide between two books I'm I'm making um, some pickles at the same time so I needed to read the book and I had two books and I was trying to pick between them and one of them was only like 90 pages so I really should be able to bust that out pretty quick Except last night I kept falling asleep. But I stayed up till 1 trying to read the book. So, um, yeah. And I decided I think I'm going to use the other book, the one I haven't even started reading yet, as at least this first assignment. Because I think it'll fit better. So today turned out to be a very productive day. It was our first day of school. And that went really well. And there is a big truck and trailer driving by. Um, as you can see, one of the things we did in addition to school was we flip-flopped our... Uh, deck. We moved our porch swing from the other side. When I used to sit on this, I had a wall behind me. Now I'm on the other end where I used to sit in the rocking chair. And the rocking chairs are over there. So now Steve and I can sit in a rocking chair together. And we're also able to lower the porch swing some on this side so it's more comfortable both for me and obviously for the kids. Um, because on the other side it had been at like its chain's length and the way it's hooked up, things are a little different. So that's good. So we got that done, and we did all of our school things today. We got up and moving. We had peanut butter oatmeal. We did our morning work, which went smoothly today. And I think, I don't know, maybe in about a month, um, we will have it down to where it's just, you know, no having to really give instruction. I imagine it'll take that long only because we are going to be out of town for a portion of that. So I know that our schedules will get a little wonky and sometimes when things aren't completely consistent it's hard for the kids to know what they're supposed to be doing there is a fly um so we did that i also managed to can a canner full of scallop squash pickles i cut up a ton of tomatoes and put them in the crock pot to make like tomato soup and i um canned a canner full of diced tomatoes so that's good in addition we made dinner tonight i made a homemade um, potato salad which I've been planning for two days because I made extra mashed potatoes, the last time I mashed potatoes, and then I saved them because I learned working at the cafe that the best potato salad is made with leftover mashed potatoes. I say this because, oh, I prune homemade mashed potatoes, but then leftover, because when I make them with normal potatoes, they get really watery, but if you use leftover mashed potatoes, the, ma or the potato salad will hold in the fridge without getting just juicy, as quickly, you can leave it in there about a week even if your potato salad lasts that long, which ours rarely does, but without it just going everywhere. Um, we made mint tea today because we had poetry tea time, and we um, just used mint that the kids picked. They'd asked me the other day if they could make mint tea, and I said, well, yeah, I guess we could. And it turned out, like, way better than I thought mint tea using just mint would be. So we actually were able to even use the mint leaves twice and still have good tea. And I haven't tried making a third pot, but I'm not, you know, sure that I wouldn't be able to get a third pot out of those same leaves. So that was kind of cool. Um, we did tea time. We did read alouds on the porch, which was cool, and it was like a nicer setting than it had been, and the kids were able to like sit on the ground in front of me, and I read picture books to them, and that was cool. And we started our five in a row with our younger two sons, and they got to play outside, and Steve harvested me well over 300 tomatoes again today. So, even though I've managed to have everybody help me clean and I've been working on tomatoes today I still have tomatoes out the wazoo again but that's okay because I will appreciate those midwinter and you can hear I'm now sitting outside where it's nice and cool I just finished recutting the boys hair and giving them little mohawks which they wanted and they like to look like spikosauruses as they call themselves and they get to roar and stuff when I gel it so that's fun so they're up cleaning their room and I'm about to go 
when I'm done with this, I will probably let them play for just a little bit, and then I'm going to go start the bedtime routine of reading read-alouds in their room, and then they go to bed, and I read some more, and then everybody goes to sleep. That way I can go to bed early, I hope, because I'm tired from staying up last night trying to read that book for my daughter. And actually today I started, we decided that we were going to read Sea Glass Summer as her first book report book. But I had read some stuff on Goodreads where some people said there was some content that they thought was inappropriate. And in addition, I was going to read the book anyways because then I would have an idea what was going on. But I felt like I needed to read it more so, so that I knew if there was something that I just needed to talk to her about. Because um, I still probably would have let her read it. I just wanted to know. But I have yet to find anything really questionable. Um, certainly nothing beyond, she works in a veteran, or she's staying and working in a veterinary office, nothing outside of what would come with the veterinary sciences, so we'll see. I know that with a lot of reviews, there are some people that are super, super strict on what their kids view and read and what they consider appropriate or not, so, you know, there's always that, um, and kind of taking people's reviews the grain of salt. And as always, you know, checking for yourself, because that is the joy of homeschooling. I can control... Um, and have a say in what my kids do and don't experience and how they experience it. I can experience it with them so that they can experience a whole lot more um, than just releasing them, you know, into somebody else's hands. So that's kind of that. I don't really know much else. I'm going to try and go to bed early tonight um, and then hopefully have another super productive day. I have some more canning that I want to do tomorrow and another day of school and it went so smoothly today. I'm hopeful that tomorrow will just keep going more and more smoothly. I really think that um, this might be a good year. <laughs> Better than we've had before. I mean, it helps the not nursing, the not having anybody in diapers. Just lowers my stress level on that front. Um, not feeling like there's a baby that like needs me all the time. So that I can focus more on all the kids and all the places and all the things they're doing. And also not working outside the house helps um, both give me the time and energy to do the in-house things that need to be done as well as um, not give me any other time constraints beyond what we decide is going to work best with our schedules. And our schedules are going to be hectic here. Steve's going to be working a lot here soon when we get back from vacation. So, so that is it. I might take just a few more minutes to... Uh, you know, kind of hide on the porch and enjoy it out here because it is beautiful. So how was the first day of school, Steve? It was good. What did you do today that was school related? I did math with our oldest daughter and then I helped learn the Alice the Camel song for our <laughs> middle son. That was, that was amusing and, and then for that, me. And that also uh, kind of translated to our youngest son. <laughs> yeah, so now the boys are running around seeing Alice the Camel, which is pretty dang adorable. She had five humps. Then she had ten humps. That was a lot of humps. That was a lot of humps.